see the installation of consumers mains and other equipment necessary for a domestic installation to receive power from an overhead supply. Usually the supply authority will connect the service cable from the pole to the point of attachment on the building and terminate the cable in the mains box. This cable is known as a service cable. It is the electrician's job to A. Install a suitable point of attachment and a mains box for the supply authority's cable. B. Install the metered and unmetered consumer's mains cables. C. Organise the location and installation of a suitable meter box. Let's look now at the point of attachment. Its design and installation is determined by the service and installation rules. It must be an approved type, solidly anchored to the building. The service fuse must be positioned to allow easy withdrawal and replacement. This service fuse would be difficult to replace. Razor brackets come in three basic styles. Wall mounted type, roof mounted type, fascia mounted type. This is not an acceptable method of increasing cable ground clearance. A house hook is another means of providing an attachment point. You may have noticed that some house hooks point up while others point down. What is the reason for this? The answer is simple. It depends upon the direction of cable pull. You may also have noticed that some fascia brackets have stay wires attached. These are necessary when the clamp strap cannot be fitted as specified in the service and installation rules. Let's look at some of the other terminology used. Consumer terminals. This is the junction of the supply authority service cable and the consumer's mains. Service protection device. This is the protective device used to interrupt supply to the consumer's premises. unmetered consumers mains. The cable run from the consumers terminals to the meters. Metered consumers mains. The cable run between the meter box and the main switchboard, sometimes referred to as meter tails. Where controlled loads, such as storage hot water units, or slab heating are installed, an extra active meter tail needs to be installed between the meters and the main switchboard. In this installation, a razor bracket is used to lift the point of attachment to give correct service cable ground clearance. Razor bracket is clamped to a rafter and secured with tech screws and coach screws. The unmetered consumer's mains is normally double insulated. The cable should enter the meter section of the meter box through a close-fitting bushed hole. The metered consumer's mains are run from the meter panel to the main switchboard. The main switchboard may be fitted in the meter box or at another suitable location for security or convenience. Remember to leave sufficient cable length for the supply authority to connect metering equipment.
The mains box is fastened to the razor bracket using metal threads. Don't forget to fit the rubber weather seal between the box and the bracket. To maintain double insulation and avoid the need to earth the bracket, the outer sheath of the cable should extend into the box. In addition, the metal thread fixing screws are covered with insulated caps. The active conductor is terminated in the left service fuse terminal. The neutral conductor is terminated in the centre terminal of the neutral link. The main earth is run as directly as possible from the main switchboard to the earth electrode. It must be clipped where accessible and protected against possible mechanical damage. The earth electrode is driven into the ground to at least a depth of 1.2 metres. To avoid the house footings, the electrode is inserted some distance out from the wall. This means that the electrode must be set back and saddled to the building. earth is connected using a brass earth clip. The connection is painted to prevent deterioration due to weathering. A bonding conductor is soldered to the main earth and connected to the water system. This connection is also painted if exposed to the weather. The metal meter box must be connected to the earthing system using a conductor at least the same size as the main earth. When the installation work is complete, all work must be inspected and tested before sending the completion notice to the supply authority. When the electrician has sent in the completion notice and the customer has requested connection, the supply authority will arrange for the service truck to connect power. 1. The service cable is attached to the point of attachment first. 2. Strain the service cable and attach it to the pole cross arm. Three, check that there is no service fuse already installed. Four, the active conductor of the service cable is terminated in the mains box. Five, the linesman then connects the cable to the live overhead distribution system. Six, a polarity check is now carried out to ensure that the neutral conductor of the supply system connects to the correct terminal in the mains box. 7. The neutral is then connected and the cover replaced. 8. Meanwhile, the meter mechanic is installing and connecting the meters. 9. The service fuse is inserted by the electrical inspector, but only after the installation has been inspected and has passed all tests. 10. This concludes this video presentation. 
you should now be well prepared to carry out the NE 128.4B practical assignment.